everyone today we will discuss the solutions for the exercise 1.3 on the chapter 1 of ncrt text max 11th okay so let's directly go with the first problem make correct statements by filling in the symbols subset or not subset in the blank spaces what was a subset a set is said to be a subset of another set if every element of that set is the element of the second set for example for a set a a is said to be a subset of b if every element of a is also an element of b now let's directly go with the problems two three four right you can see that two three four over here also so you can say that this is a subset now now let's do the second problem a b c b c d you can see that b and c are the members but the other elements are not so you can say that it is a not a subset the first one was it was a subset then the third one xx is a student of class 11th of your school the main set is xx that x is a student of your school yeah obviously the class 11th comes under the students of your school so this is a subset the next one xx that x is a circle in the plane and the main set is what x is a circle in the same plane with radius 1 unit so all the circles in the plane does not come within the radius 1 unit and this is not a subset of this set so x x that x is a triangle in a plane and the second one is that x is a rectangle in the plane so they are both different geometrical shapes and here the criteria is different so it is not a subset Next one is that xx that x is an equilateral triangle in a plane and xx that x is a triangle in the same plane. So the equilateral triangle comes under the triangle criteria and you can say that this is a subset. Now let's discuss the next one xx that x is an even natural number and in the second one it is said that xx is an integer. You can see that even natural numbers are always a subset of integer and this is a subset. Now let's discuss our second problem. Examine whether the following statements are true or false a b a b does not belongs to b c a is it correct is it true or is it true or false it is false right because you know that a and b is a subset of b c a right and the next one a e belongs is a subset of x the x as that x is a vowel in the english alphabet what are the vowels in the english alphabet a e I O U. So obviously this is a subset and this is true. The first one was false. The second third problem is 1, 2, 3 is a subset of 1, 3, 5. You can see that in the, uh, the main set there is only 1, 3 and 5. And so it is not a subset. So it is false. Again, set A belongs to A, B is a subset of A, B, C. Is it true or false? This is true set a belongs to a b c you can see that inside the set you can't see any set a you can see only element a so when you wanted to say with belong to you have to represent with this symbol if you would have said that a belongs to a b c then it would have been true so but it is asked that set a whether does it belongs to a b c so it is false i hope this is clear the next one is x x at x is an even natural number less than 6. So what are the numbers 2 and 4 right? The next one is a subset of x is a natural number which is divisible by 36. So what are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 18 and 36. So these are the numbers of the set. Second set. Is that a subset 2 and 4? Yes. So this is a subset this is a true condition so that's for are the answers for the second part now let's discuss our third part let a 1 2 3 4 5 which of the following statements are correct and why this problem is a really good example and will you help you understand what is the difference between subset and what is the difference between what are elements of a subset or what are elements of a set for example let's check 3 4 is a subset of a no why because 3 4 is actually a element of a it is not a subset if you wanted to represent this as subset then you should have taken double braces so this is what this is not correct and this is 
false. The second one, 3, 4 does belongs to A. That is true because 3, 4 subset is an element of A. You can see that this is considered as a single element. So, this is an element. So, this is true. Next one, 3, 3, 4 uh, with double braces. This is true, right? This is what I have discussed in the first problem. Again, 1 belongs to A. 1 is an element of A and it belongs to A. So, it is true. Again, the next one is that 1 a subset of A? No. If you would have written like 1 subset of A, then I would have said it. Now it is false. Again, 1, 2, 5. Is that a subset of A? Yeah, because you can see that 1 element 1, element 2, element 5. So this is a subset and it is true. Next one. 1, 2, 5 is a belongs to A? No. It is a false. Right? Because... These are only subsets of A. If you wanted to have written like that, you should have written like 1, 2, 5 as a subset of A. But 1 belongs to A, 2 belongs to A, 5 belongs to A. But this subset set does not belong to A. And that's why it is false. Again, 1, 2, 3 belongs is a subset of A. Again, that is false. Right? Because you don't have a set 1, 2, 3. Right? Because this is a separate set. False. Now, let's discuss phi belongs to A. Phi belongs to A? No. Phi is actually what? It is a subset of A. So, this is false, right? So, this is false. The next one is, phi is a subset of A. That is true. Because phi or the empty set is always a subset of every set. So, this is true. Again, set of phi is a subset of A. Again, that is false. So, I hope with this you are clear with what are subsets and what what does this mean by belongs to A. Okay. So, now let's discuss our fourth problem. Write down all the subsets of the following sets. So, now let's uh, write it down all the subsets. Okay. As I said, for any set, phi is the first element and then the element itself. Element, uh, every element is, every set is an element of, a subset of itself. The next one, phi is there, A, B, then the last one subset would be A, B, the same subset, set itself. Again, 1, 2, 3, that I have already listed, I am writing it again. Phi, the element 1 is a set, subset, 2, the element 3, the next subset would be what? 1 and 2, the another one would be what? 2 and 3 and the other one would be what 1 and 3 and the last one would be 1 2 and 3 so these are the total number of subsets of 1 2 3 and for 5 the subset is same empty set okay now let's discuss our fifth problem how many elements has p of a if A is equal to 5, A is an empty set of 5, right? So, it does not have any elements. You can see 0 elements. You have a formula for that. Number of elements of P of A is given by 2 raised to M, where M is the number of elements in the set. Here, 0 elements, so 2 raised to 0. So, the how many elements it has? 1 element and that is the phi or the, the phi or the empty braces. Okay, that's all for the fifth problem. And on my next video, we'll discuss the further work problems on exercise 1.3. So that's all for today's section and let's see you on my next section. Bye-bye.